Well, guys, today is the day. On this day, on June 20th, 1975, Jaws was released. It was a giant success, make, making a total in the box office, in the box office all, only a, like a total of more than a uh, hundred million dollars. And it was a real success. It was one of the greatest films to ever be made by some people. Not only did Jaws terrify us, but also amazed us and thrill us and also inspired other people to direct and make movies. It was just a success. So... Today, Jaws turns 47 years old, so what we're going to do is that I'm going to be doing a collection offer, or not, a, no, no, sorry, 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 not an offer, no, no, no. I'm going to sh show you guys my collection, so that way it can be in honor of my, of Jaws' 47th year anniversary. So, here we go. So right here I did this sketch of Bruce. It is really detailed, as you can tell. I did the entire scars. I did the barrels on there. I really did everything. Here is the Jaws novel by Peter Benchley. I read the entire thing. It was just like, it was completely different. It was just, I'll tell you guys about the differences in a different video. And, yeah, I'll tell you guys about that. And I'll, I'll probably do a video of the differences between the book and movie. So, yeah, I'll do that. Here is the Jaws log by Carl Gottlieb. This was believed by some Jaws fans as to be probably their favorite Jaws book. It just talks about the making of Jaws and everything to do with it. This was also written. This was written by the same guy who also wrote the screenplay. Also, Peter Benchley also wrote the screenplay as well. Yeah, this was believed by some fans to be the best Jaws book, but I think there are some other ones. Now, this one is now. I already talked about this, but I took it down because of some issues. Anyways, I'll tell you guys about it. This is a Jaws 2 book, but however, I decided to put it in just so it's because it's in the Jaws industry. It just talks about the making of the sequel. It just has, like, it talks about literally the making. Just like all the others. So, yeah. It's a really interesting book. Here's my other one this is the joe alves designing jaws book this was this is a book that talks about the about joe alves who designed jaws and also did the production designing and art directing it just tells about it tells about also the making of jaws but also reveals about these sketches that joe alves did Now, this right here, I actually have two of these. There's the other one that's over there. I actually have two of these. These are Jaws, like, these are Jaws Life magazines that also talk about the making. You know, these, these books just talk about just the making and nothing else, but it's just a good touch. Now, uh, Right here, I have these notebooks. I never wrote on any of these. I mean, I did do some stuff on this one. I did do something on this one. I did these. But, yeah, I'm probably not going to use this anymore. But, we, we will see. Now, 
Now right here, I have this. This is like an ornament, a fish decoration that you could put in your fish tank. It's a Jaws-like ornament that shows the shark hopping on top, jumping on top of the orca. Even though I'm not going to use this, I'm just going to keep this as a, like a collection item. So, yeah, even though the orca does not have like the tip that goes up and the other end, but still is all right. I have this Jaws Funko here. It's a Funko Pop, but it's not really, it's not the figurine that you get in the boxes. It's just a board game piece that is used. Here's another one. This is a Quint. It has the Harpoo gun. It's also from the game. It really is. It's from the Funko game where you like play as Quint. You have to like stop the shark. So, yeah. So, right here, I have this Jaws Funko figurine. And it is just amazing. Now, yes, this is kind of a little bit destroyed a little. And also, it comes with the air tank. Yeah, it's, it's pretty in a minor condition, but it's fine. Now, I've also got this. This is the actual... This is another Funko Pop. It's the Jaw Shark, where it's holding on to the air tank as well. I know you've probably seen this in uh, one of my oldest videos, but... But it's a, it's a really nice touch. It really is. Now, this is not... No, no. Okay, now, this is not really in any sort of collection item, but it's just a dog. But, I kind of wanted to put it in because it reminds me of Pippet because Pippet's a black Labrador and this kind of looks like a Labrador. So, yeah, I just kind of want to just do that. Right here is, this is the box, the Jaws box of this. This is like a light piece that you use, but I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to play because it plays the Jaws theme in. I don't want to get in any trouble, okay? That's, it's something. And the box here on this packaging is really interesting. It really is. Now, here, this is a background piece. This came from the Funko Pop Shark. Now, as you can see, it shows the orca sinking down. While well, Brody's trying to kill the shark, and you can see the barrels. And it just shows, like, like the water. It's just like, there's no land in there, which is really, really awesome. <sighs> now, this is a Jaws lunch box, and there, there's some stuff in here that I'm... There's some stuff in here, but it's just Legos, okay? Now... This is a lunchbox that I just really like. I never use it for lunch in school because I just think it's a valuable piece. See, it's the sign here that says, No swimming hazardous area, beach closed by order of order Amity Police Department. So. So. It's, it's a real nice piece. Now, one more thing that I have... This is the Jaws board game. Yes, this is the board game. Jaws does have a board game. And it just... It's a game of strategy and... It's a game of strategy and suspense. It just... It's like... It's playing in the game, but it's like in a movie. It's like a valuable piece in mine. So, yeah, this is my collection. I know. I think it might grow. I think I might still have some other pieces that I'll use. But yeah. So guys, I just can't believe that it's been 47 years since Jaws was released. I just can't believe it. Over 
a decade, like over like decades, Jaws is still here terrifying us today. <sighs> Those days. So anyways, I really hope you guys enjoy this and happy 47th year anniversary of Jaws. So, see you guys later. Goodbye.